Hello there. Right, in this video, we're going to have a look at uh, what we can see or what's left of what used to be Ooterbridge Rolling Mills, a bit further down the River Don, which is in Bealey Woods. So, if you want to come along, and we'll just have a look at the weirs and what we can see of the industrial uh, heritage that's left. There's not a lot really, but uh, we'll go and have a look. Not sure if you can see for the sun, but uh, there's a big purpose built wall on the other side. But I think that were just originally the uh, road that went through Ooterbridge. Some of these uh, trees have got washed up in the last flood as well. You can see the water's flooded all the way down here. That wall stood the test of time. I'm finding it very hard to find some pictures of uh, what it used to be like at Ooterbridge in the industrial uh, era, but if I do I shall put them on the video but uh, a lot of them is protected or you have to buy the actual pictures and that so uh, we'll see how we go, I might be able to get one or two Right, let's go in search of some industrial heritage of Ooterbridge Rolling Mill Mr. Heron. Right, so here we are at another weir. So this is the one I think used to feed Ooterbridge rolling mills. As you can see, there's uh, man-made man walls on the other side of the uh, river. New houses have been built up on the top of the hill there. But if you look carefully, you can just see where the cutting is, where the water used to go into the culvert that led to the rolling mills, which I surmise drove water, water wheel to drive all the machinery, etc. But like I say, I'm having trouble finding history on a lot of these things. As you can see at the moment, this weir is in very good condition. So if we stop like that for a few years. And as you can see on the other side, you can just see where the water used to feed in. As you can see, it's a lovely little boat down here as well. Don't worry if they've been like in the industrial past, but... Uh, very busy and noisy, I guess. You can see there's all the walls on that side. Across below us, this side of the walls collapsed, and we've got big uh, square blocks, gritstone blocks. Still fairly intact, those walls, until it gets to here, and then it all. has come tumbling down. Right, there's some uh, strange stonework there. I don't know whether that was part of a bridge or something. I don't know. We've got a tree growing well out at uh, 
top of it anyway. And I'm surmising all that area over there would have been the start of uh, Ooterbridge Rolling Mills, which goes quite a way down uh, the river. There's a lot of big blocks of stone around again. Certainly unbelievable the power of the water. Right, there's a uh, some pipe work there, which I think would have sucked water out of the river and pumped it up to the silica quarry which was further up the hill in the woods. And across this side of the footpath we've got a little pump house. And he's still got the pump in it. So that would have fed water up to uh, the quarry up the hill. And outside the pump house is the pipe going up the hill and disappearing into the brambles. As you can see in the river, you've got the remnants of all large stones etc which must have been part of some kind of structure, probably the walls around the river etc. As you can see, across the river is probably where the old rolling mills started. It goes down and down and down and down the river until we get to where uh, the caravan storage is, where we keep our motor on. When I was smizing all this side of the river were like quarries and that. Because like you say, they did all the uh, silica quarrying, manufacture of fire bricks for furnaces, the factory, etc. So it was quite an industrial place in its time, Hooterbridge. And here we are coming to the uh, caravan storage part. To pick the worst date, sums it wrong place, isn't it? It's a lovely walk down here though. Like I said, there's not a lot left of the history of the industry. Just got uh, a few bits of ruins. But we'll carry on a bit further down. There's another weir further down and some other old bits. Right, so this is the end of uh, Ooterbridge Rolling Mills, or what would have been Ooterbridge Rolling Mills. There's a few buildings there, but I think they're fairly modern. Uh, this is where we keep our motor home. I can just see tail end of it up there. Uh, it's ideal, it's just 10 minutes from home. 10 minutes walk, and we're here. Right, we'll go a bit further down the river. There's uh, another weir and some other bits and bobs we can just look at. And then that'll be it for this video. Still can't believe the side of some of these rocks has got pushed down the river boulders I should say. The force of the water is unbelievable. As you can tell now we're back near to the main road again now and that's the end of where Hooterbridge Rolling Mills would have been. There's some very large rocks again in river. Right so a little bit further down river there's another uh, weir but there's not a lot left of it, it's a bit like uh, the one in the first video which was up at uh, Ooterbridge Forge but we'll work our way down there you may be able to see just through the trees the uh, part of the uh, weir the other half has uh, demolished with the weather 
hope you can see that because the sun's getting very low now. But I think this weir fed something else because on my left hand side there's like some more channels etc. So it must have fed another mill. I don't know how many mills they had down here or whatever it was. But that's where it's all uh, come down now so there's only that bit of the original weir left. And in front of it you've got another pile of rocks being moved down by the river. So here where it's all fallen down you can see where there used to be a water inlet. Right, that's a better view of the uh, weir. Tell you what, in the time they must have taken some making these weirs. Absolute marvellous. It's a shame we can't keep uh, as heritage. But like you say, if you don't maintain it, it's going to disappear over years. With the power of the river. Right, so looking back towards what was the weir, this had been a water channel which would have fed to drive some other mill, factory or whatever it was. And there we are looking down the water channel, to wherever it goes to. So looking at it a bit further up was another sluice area which must have fed water down this channel and they both connected and carried on down there so here we've got uh, some other part of a wall or part of the river system and it's all silted up maybe that fed water down to where we were a little bit earlier on It's like a channel that I think has been silted up towards the river. Right, as you can see, they're all purpose-built walls. So, it has been part of something in the Industrial uh, Revolution. It's a shame we're losing a lot of this industrial history. That's why I decided to just make a few videos, just to make people aware of what we've got in our country. Right, so this is that channel. Doesn't look like it's got any water movement, it looks fairly stagnant to me. And it just goes into where it's all overgrown. Right, so that's as much as I can show you of Outer Bridge Rolling Mill. Like I said, there wasn't a lot left. But the channel is still running down here. Maybe this fed what was called Abbey Forge, which is near Middlewood. This is now, it's still actually working. It's, uh, it's got 100 years of forging left in it. So we'll just have a quick walk down. There is another weir down there, and I'll keep it in this video. It's quite a big forge as well. So uh, we'll walk our way down there. We'll see you when we get down there. As you can see, this channel's carrying on down. Right, so as you can see, that channel we were looking at earlier on comes all the way down to here and then stops. So I'm surmising there would have been something here, but who knows? Right. So we're nearly here, we're down at uh, 
nearly Abbey Forge. This will be the last weir in this area. There is one a bit further down, but uh, it's a long walk down to that one. Right, you might be able to hear the uh, forge in the background. I'm not sure, it's quite quiet actually, but uh, it's all modern and new now. The old original one's gone, I think. But I think this uh, weir down here would have uh, fed the machinery to drive the machinery for the uh, old forge. Right, we'll put you on looking forward. Right, so ahead is uh, Abbey Forge, as you can see, it's, uh, it's all modern buildings and that. And we're not far off the uh, the weir down there. The weir's just there. Right, so I've walked you down this far, and there's hardly anything left of this weir now. It's disappeared. So uh, that was a waste of wall that way, but you can see it's still all walled on the other side. You can see where it used to be. But unfortunately it's not there anymore. And that's uh, Abbey Forge up there. Right, so that's the end of this video, which is number three of industrial history in uh, Ooterbridge. I'm sorry there wasn't a lot I could show you on this one, but uh, there is a lot of hidden history, but finding it out is a nightmare. I've, I may do a bit more research, and if I do find anything out when I'm editing this video, I'll put some information on. Don't forget, if you like what you see, don't forget to give me the thumbs up, uh, leave a comment, and if you haven't already subscribed, consider subscribing to uh, the channel, it's free. And click that notification bell, and it'll notify you when I've uploaded some more videos. Right, that's it for now. We'll see you in the next video, which might be the last mill in Ooterbridge. There's not a lot of that one, there's only a mill pond, and I think it's private property. But uh, we'll have a quick walk round. It's, it's part of a... Sentinel Park at, uh, in Ooterbridge itself, so there's a small little walk around the back of it, so I'll take you on that. I'll see you later on, bye for now.